Hi everyone. After struggling again to find proper information in regards to the hard drives, what kind of hard drives can be installed on the Dell Vostro 3350, I decided to shoot this short video to show you what can be installed and uh, the few easy steps to do so. So, first of all, the, you're looking at the back of the unit here. You'll have to remove the two screws up top that hold the cover in place. This is a few Phillips screws, so a small Phillips head screwdriver would do it. After removing the two screws, look at the little notch up here. Slightly lift it up. This cover has notches around the edge and just pull it out that way. Put this out of the way and what you see here is the hard disk cage. Try and show you better. Um, the two screws that holds it in place are located here and there is another one, one right here. Again, Phillips screwdriver, moving the first one. Screws are slightly longer, so um, it's easy not to confuse them with the other ones from the cover. Here's the second one. Now, the most important part is screws are, so the hard drive is loose now, but what you have to do is this little flat connector here that's what the eSATA and power come into the hard drive is. In order to remove this connector, if you just pull on the plastic little tag here, it won't come off. So what you have to do is with uh, two fingers, put your fingernails underneath the connector and pull it up. So the top of this connector raises and by doing so, you're actually releasing the cable. So fingernails underneath the top of the connector, pull it up slightly and at this point, as you can see, I could remove the connector. Lift up the little bracket, Let me remove that screw so I don't lose it. And here we go, I have the hard drive removed. Let's take a look at what we have here. As you can see, in this hole, this hard drive is installed with only two screws for some reason and um, this is the thin 7 millimeter hard drive. Uh, by looking at the bracket here you can see clearly that if you had a 9 millimeter, 9.5 millimeter hard drive you could use the other, the lower portion of this hole to install it. So let's remove the two screws. These are standard 2.5 millimeter hard drive screws. One. Okay, and this is the hard, the Seagate Momentous Thin 250. So it is indeed seven millimeters thin. How do I know that? Well, here I have a Momentous XT, which is a 9.5 millimeter drive. And you can see clearly that this one is thicker. So this would be the 9.5. This is the 7. Let's put the 7 aside. I just want to show you that you can actually fit the 9mm in here, 9.5 easily. And if you look at the alignment to the hole, to the installing hole, you have no problem installing this one into the bracket. So the bracket is both for 7mm and 9.5mm drives. Now, before you actually put the unit into the cage, what you have to do is remove this little cable. I would suggest you be very careful when, while removing it because it's very fragile. So just move it side, sideways like this, slowly and remove it. Can you install it on the new hard drive? Again, be careful how you handle it. Push it in place all the way. And at this point you're ready to put the new hard drive or SSD, whatever you decide to install. Put it into the bracket. And as you can see here, this is a ground pin. So you push it all the way against against this uh, 
piece of PCB. And at this point, you're ready to install the two screws back. Okay, now we have the new hard drive installed in here, the 9.5 millimeter one. It's secured to the bracket. In order to install it, you will have to insert this lower portion in first. You just slide it in because it goes under this little plastic edge and then you push it down. Now remember, we had two screws, one there, one over here. Install the two screws first. And because we lifted up this connector before, now it's ready to accept the, our flat cable again. So push it slightly in place. This plastic piece is the blue one is pretty stiff. So you can actually push on it and you'll feel that the cable goes in all the way. Make sure it goes in all the way. And then the two fingers again, push on the two sides all the way down. And with that being said, all you have to do now is just put back your cover. A bit of pressure around the edges. And with the two screws back on, that should do it for you. So here we go. This is the Volstro 3350. The hard disk cage again takes both 7 millimeter and 9.5 millimeter drives and the process as you can see is fairly easy all you need is a Phillips screwdriver hope you enjoyed this video till next time take care